All right, today we're gonna to check out a uh, cabinet hardware jig from Oxter, I believe is how you pronounce that. Found this on Amazon for about $30. Got some uh, cabinet handles and drawer pulls that I wanna put on. And uh, first time around when I did our kitchen, it was measured three times to make sure it was right before um, drilling a hole. So I'm gonna try it with a jig this time and see how I like it. Um, Never used one of these, so it'll be a learning experience. All right. I'll read the directions and see what this is all about. Let's see, we've got two drill bits in here. I've measured and marked where I want the top of the jig to rest with the uh, with some painter's tape. And I brought out a clamp. I'm going to clamp this on. Would be my one recommendation on this jig is if it could have another um, adjustment to hang off the top of the door here, so that it was precise every time clamp on it and hold it in place here. All right. All right, let's measure one last time. Pretty close. All right, there's one. There's one. Looks like I got it pretty even. It's always the toughest on the uh, ones that are side by side like that.
drawer is way easier. So just find the, uh, the center point. And then just measure the height. So we're right at five inches tall in this drawer. So we'll set the jig at two and a half inches. And just the top of this. Uh, so right there, it's for a two and a half inch mark. This will be centered up and down. And then we'll use the, uh, the center of the jig with the point that I've marked up here. Thoughts on the Oxter jig. Great for doing the drawers. Uh, $30. I wish I would have had that when I did my kitchen drawers. A little bit harder on the cabinet doors. Uh, just because you've got to figure out your, your height of where you want it. From the top of the cabinet or the bottom on uh, if you're doing an upper cabinet. Yeah, I like it.